Broken ribs, four puncture wounds, twice in the stomach, leg and chest. But what killed him was the swelling in his brain when he smacked his head. So how did he get here? Lonely will put her to sleep tonight. Lonely kisses her on the cheek and says it'd be all right. To sleep with a form of absence is a nightmare inside. Pain is there, ready to ignite. So when she wakes, ambitions and dreams are ash by her side. Daddy be stiff in that white, drowned in the drugs, he'll punch her up to cloud nine. Now you know why mommy ain't coming home tonight. The hunger for love, enough man on that hot line. Each one she devours, the hunger for love is never satisfied. She goes and seeks, but she can never find. Her body says Kareem, but her mind says otherwise. L-O-S-T, smoking the weed, implanting the seed, soul growing the leaves, deceiving remedy, sniffing white E, watch the soul flee for a sinner spree, line up the snow, let his nose take a ski till he tastes his nose bleed, contaminated body while his heart is rather rowdy, anger and hate is what he breathes, as his mind tells him he will never achieve, those words bully him to believe, so he finds others with insecurities and make them weak, so cold, things around him become frosty, apart from Yasmin who's frozen subsequently, he allows his demons to take lead, forcing in her underwear to her knees. Jerome's best friend Kareem, I say his friend in me. He made him cause of jealousy, he was straight B's, Kareem's straight E's. But a friend to envy your glory is a fault, unworthy of your company. A friend in me worships in misery, praying to devour anything that makes you happy. Uh -huh. Kareem had him on a leash like Nick Nap, Paddy White, give Jerome a bone. This little doggy ain't got a mind of his own. He had enough to take control, take a seat at his phone. He realised he had more to live for than just being a clone. These youths are so fake, I call it Generation Silicone. So you do you and let Jerome cruise in his own. Would you like that? Damn, if he knew that time was against him, he would have never postponed. If he knew his strength to let go, he would have disowned these demons a long time ago. This negativity knew he was gold. Why listen to the lies you were told? If he was able to keep his soul, I tell you he'll tell Yasmin and Kareem, send a prayer to the big guy on the throne. Cause with him you're never alone. This girl just passed the audition for a big Broadway show. Still not knowing her worth, she's stuck at home. Cut off the cut as she roll, roll, rolls a blade harshly down her skin. Singing merrily, 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 throw her life in the bin. Each cut starts to cry, staring back at her. The cuts want to know why. The cuts are blind, they don't see what she sees. So she plays more slices in the skin till she gets bored with its cry. Yasmin, wake up, it's a lie. Life is worth living. Ask the big guy in the sky. Kareem, wake up, it's a lie. Life is worth living. Kick that ball and it will be all right. All I'm saying is no more anger, please no more knives, that's another statistic, another life. As for Jerome, as his soul is drifting, mum is ringing. Jerome, when are you coming home? You got your uni results, you did it! I got more news about that job too. I told you life was worth living. <laughs>